I'm Damon Romine. We're here at the Queer Lounge with the cast and crew of Vapid Lovelies, a short that is currently showing at Slam Dance here in Park City. And if you could each introduce yourself, that would be great. Sure. My name is Frank Feldman. Um, I'm the director. Chris Lemon, actor, producer. Jack Stewart, director of photography. So tell me, Frank, a little bit about the, the film and why, and why people should rush out to see it. Well, um, they should rush out because it's a lot of fun. Um, it's, it, it's a comedy. And uh, uh, it's about um, a couple of, of gay boys in Salt Lake City. Uh, they're fashionistas, at least in their own minds, you know, the type. And, uh, and they're on a quest for the perfect Sundance outfit. Well, of course, who isn't really? Yeah. <laughs> I see you all tried very hard today yeah. to pull it together. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> And, and was this a completely a work of fiction, or did you pull it out of some some incident? Um, well, I think we, we drew from the the experiences of uh, sort of thematically. I think we drew from the experience of of having you know come up here and sort of all had that impulse, you know, to to get a little too dressed up, you know, a little bit more than you normally would just to go see some, see a movie, you know. Um, and so we, so so, but anyways. Um, yeah, you know, and and as far as as far as your role in the film, what what's your character, and and, and how do you pull it off? Well, PJ plays. Um, I play PJ, who is a bit of a despicable human being. <laughs> um, he he um, absolutely is amoral. I would say, in the sense that he just um, and maybe he, he's a little dumb, and so maybe he's a little oblivious to. Um, the havoc that he's wreaking upon um, others. Um, and I would say that um, they do ex achieve success as far as the outfit, however, there's no redemption. No redemption to the outfit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the outfit has redemption. I don't know if the character does. <laughs> Are you all local from Salt, the Salt Lake City area? So, so Tom, I'll ask you then, how does it feel to to uh, to be local, make a film, and then have it accepted into to slam dance? What is that like? Uh, it's fantastic. You know, we've been, I've been coming up, and I think all of us have been coming up here for a long time, and uh, we're working for the festivals and doing that sort of thing, so it's nice to actually have a chance to be recognized for our work, and more importantly, fun to shoot in Utah. Salt Lake's a great place to shoot, location-wise, and just a, a beautiful atmosphere to shoot in, so I think we were all really happy with that, to be the local boys who have done well. Well, and in a way, I, I feel like Salt Lake became a, its own character in the film. Absolutely, uh, it's it's definitely one of the characters, and because Salt Lake is a quirky town, it's different. It's um, you know, and I think it has a bad rap actually, even in the gay community. You know, you hear a lot of things, but the truth is, is that Salt Lake is a very open town. But you go ten miles any direction, <laughs> you don't <laughs> find that. Yeah, but, okay. but Salt Lake is very open, I think, to the gay and lesbian community mm -hmm. and the queer community. So. Yeah. You know, I mean, we have um, a domestic partner registry in the city. Um, not a lot of people are taking advantage of it, but but it is there. And you know, it's a it's a really interesting place. And so I th I think personally that you know, in the wake of Prop 8 and calls for boycotts against Utah at large, you know, there potentially could be a lot of damage to what is a thriving gay community. You know, we have a lot of of um, of gay men and women. Who moved to Salt Lake from Wyoming, from Idaho, from? Because it's the big city. It is the in big the city West, for in this the, area. In, in, in you know, in the crossroads yeah. in the West, in the Jello Belt. Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, the Jello Belt. The Jello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. in love, by the way. Yeah, but no, I see what you're saying. I think that it could be damaging, and you know, the truth is, is that there are gays in Salt Lake, and we. We didn't vote for Prop A. You know, we we're thri we're trying to thrive here, and you know, I think that that's part of what the film is about. That these two boys, you know, as absurd as it may be, they thrive in Salt Lake City, and it's it's their home. It's their gay home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of Prop A, it was a it was a California amendment. Yet it really seems to have mobilized people across the country, gay and straight allies uh, alike. How have you seen that manifest itself here in in the area? Um, it's it's actually I think it's been another one of these really um, one of these bad things that have take that we've we've taken and turned positive. Um, you know, we had a rally. It's the biggest political rally I've ever seen in Salt Lake. Um, it they actually they, they originally assigned like ten police officers to this thing, and they by the end of it were having to shut down like I can't even remember how many 
many blocks around around Temple Square downtown, which is the headquarters of the, the Mormon Church, and and the, I mean there was a constant stream of people just walking around these two enormous blocks of, of downtown Salt Lake. About and, five thousand people in Salt Lake came out for this march, and I mean it stopped traffic. Yeah, there it was. Um, it, it was galvanizing in a way because we, we saw the gay community really get together and mm -hmm. and it was amazing. You know, traffic was stopped. I, right. I, I will, it, as long as I live, I will never get this picture out of my head of these cars stuck in the middle of angry queers marching, <laughs> and I, I, they were terrified. These yeah, people were. were terrified, and um, it, it was really nice as a community to um, to, to because we were here, and you know we we were on we're on the gay side i mean we're not we're all one family i think and it, and it also feels great to be uh, just even if it's in a sort of a smaller part like part of queer cinema and we feel like we're being kind of part of the solution i really feel at least my mm -hmm. participation in it and being an expatriate mormon and being very opposed to prop 8 and all of that that's about i do feel like our film is you know is, is, is kind of part of that movement so it's satisfying satisfying for me anyway so what's next for you now that you've that you're accomplished filmmakers what where, where do you go from here um well um i think the, the, the our dream for vapid lovelies um would would be to see it continue um it, it, it's shot kind of like episodic television it's about 20 minutes long um it it sort it, it reads like television and i would love to see it go that direction i'd love to be able to keep working with these characters and developing more storylines and uh, and and just going that way, we would do a feature. We would do whatever um, with these yes, characters. Give us work. <laughs> <laughs> so Pour one out, out there. there. Lovely, please. Yeah. So I'm so I'm hearing that it's a backdoor pilot. Really, is what it is. It's kind of a backdoor <laughs> pilot. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. And would you? And, and we're sort of in a new age now with with new medium and new ways of delivery. Uh, you know, shows are being created you know, specifically for online and mm -hmm. for for the web. Is that something that might be of of, of interest or? Yeah, um, we've talked about that. We've, uh, and I think we're all on board for, you know, whatever it takes. You know, we're we're all um, ambitious, uh, and we we want to, to to keep doing this. Um, it was it was just a pleasure to work with everybody in the cast and crew. Um, it we, we never bickered. There were never there was never infighting. There were never. Well, well, <laughs> let's say ninety five percent okay. of the time. So yes, we do all want to work together. And, and I'm guessing mm -hmm. you got locked in for a long term. <laughs> well, um, heck yeah. yeah, heck yeah. If that's something where you decided to notice. Heck yes. <laughs> so you're, you're golden. Very good, guys. Thank you for joining us here at the Queer Lounge today, and congratulations on getting into Snipe Dance. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.